Welcome back to Jeevus Gaming, guys, and today we're about to go tear up some of our favorite dumpsters, but we're also going to be heading to a whole new route, pretty much. We may be going through one time this whole time we've had this channel up, so hopefully we'll have some luck while we're out there. But after that, we're definitely going to go head back to our regular spot, so finger crossed, we're going to score big. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more dumpster driving videos pretty much every single day, and without further ado, let's get it. All right, guys, now we got five below. This is a different one from which we usually check. So let's see if they have anything. Oh my gosh. Oh. Just knocked over a bunch of stuff, a bunch of boxes. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. Turn this light off. It's like, wait, ooh. Look at this, guys. They. The camera's foggy. Look at this. It looks like they slashed it, but I mean, somebody can still use it, right? There's a whole box full. All right, I'm going to look at all these gloves. Um, I'm gonna get this box in the car, and I'll see you at the next one. What's up, guys? So now we are at a PetSmart, obviously. There are, I think I see three dog food bags. Hopefully they're not slashed. Ah, they put a little hole in it right there. Um, I'm going to expiration. 8.30... 18? Uh, that one might still be good. Again, I'm going to grab whatever bags I can. If I look at them more, I just want to put the camera back in the car. And see you at the next one. All right, guys, so now we're at a four dumpster combo. There's a GameStop and AT&T and a couple other stores, and look at what I see down there, a giant thing of goldfish. Now, I know they recently got recalled, so I don't know what kind got recalled or not. Yeah, they're all soaked anyway, so yeah, they're all drenched, so we're gonna leave them behind. Plus, goldfish just got recalled, so if you find some, make sure you Google the brand and make sure you're not taking a recalled brand, because I think it was like, I forgot why they got recalled, but they're dangerous right now, so not messing with them. If I had to guess, I would guess this one over here would be GameStop. Let's go check it out. That's cardboard, and there's all kinds of food trash in here. I don't know what else is sharing this dumpster, like I really don't. Um, looks like nothing. So I guess we'll just chalk it up as a loss and head to the next spot. What's up guys, now we are at a five below. It doesn't look like much of anything. It looks like a bunch of food this time. Um, I didn't even know there was like food places right around five below, but that's what it looks like. Um, nothing right here, it's just all nasty bags. I'm gonna turn this light off. This is the five below I have to go like spec op at. Check both sides, make sure the security guards are coming and be kind of quiet because the door's like right there. Whew, it scared me. It's just a bunch of food bags. I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't know if there's a food place, but Anyway, on to the next one. All right, guys, so now we're at the CVS we usually start at, and it looks like they're gonna have like a whole bedroom here if they continue. Like, there's just more furniture on the other side now. Like, over there, there's even more furniture. They just keep throwing like everything they own in here. It's kind of getting ridiculous. There's just nothing CVS. That might be in here, actually. Let's see. I don't know what all that stuff is. That's pretty gross. Is this anything? This cardboard. Let's walk around the other side. I can't see it well. Well, look at this. I don't know why they just keep throwing so much stuff over here. It's getting ridiculous. Look, there's a desk here now, too. It's hard to see, but it's there. Giant bag of sliced dog food and more personal trash in it. Beautiful. Literally, absolutely nothing here. Who knows when we're going to squash something good here if they don't end up locking it because of these morons. But anyway, on to the next spot. All right, guys, so we're coming up on Bed Bath & Beyond now. And, whoa. All right, um, well, firstly, I see... This knife set, which I will, if I put it in the camera, which I will gladly take, it's wrapped up, but they look perfectly fine. That's awesome, because we don't have many utensils. I don't know what this thing is broken. That's like a makeup, like display thing. That looks like all display stuff. I don't know what this rack is. I wonder if this is the wine thing that he was talking about yesterday, because it's pretty big. Here's another knife that I'm going to put in here. It even comes with a wood brick, which is awesome. Ooh, okay. That's the 
Um, God, I can't, I can't talk right now. The frame. Oh, that's another mirror. It looks like the same mirror that we got the other day. This, why is this thing so big? <laughs> um, yeah, this thing is like really big. That has to be the wine thing he was talking about. I can't, like, there's so much stuff in here that I can't even move anything. Holy crap. Alright, I'm gonna try the other side. This knife, I'm pretty happy about this knife thing. I don't know why. <laughs> we don't have any knives. Let's see. Holy crap, that was a lot. Yeah, it's more of this stuff. It's a bunch of just supplies. Yeah, there's no way I'm moving anything else. So I'm just gonna take the knife set and we'll see you at the next one. Alright guys, now we're at our normal five below and don't really know what this is. A giant sack of trash. Beautiful. Not really what I want. Ooh, is this a bag of returns? Should we have one? Oh yeah! We got another bag of returns from five below. Heck yeah, that has made my night too. We already did pretty decent tonight. Oh, was that another one? It says hold. So maybe it's like really good stuff. It looks like sports equipment. Definitely take that too. This five below is starting to deliver again. It was going dry for a while, but let me wipe the camera again. But it's definitely picking back up. But last time they did slash a lot of chargers, so let's hope they forgot this time. Um, part of a sword, an S crate. We have so many of those crates, I don't even know what to do with them anymore. But we'll just go ahead and take this and head to the next spot. What's up guys, now we're at our another CVS. This is the one we found like the 20 packs of cookies at. Um, the other night. Let's see, like everything's out of there. This one not believe in bags either. Mm, it's getting so foggy. And guys, the door is right there. This is really creepy, but I gotta hurry. I don't wanna like go through all that. I don't see anything. We were just here yesterday. So there's a big purple shelf. I'm just soaking wet. Domino's pizza box. Like a cooler. I don't know. Doesn't look like anything. Like I said, we were just here yesterday. And I don't see anything new besides the trash that was outside of the bags. So see you at the next one. All right, guys, so we just got back home with everything we had, and the two giant five below bags we're actually gonna save to go through tomorrow. So sorry, but you're gonna have to wait. The five below bo bags, I was about to say bogues, are exciting, and I like to make them their own video, five below bogs, but whatever. Let's go through the few things we did get. First, I wanna show you something that we didn't actually notice in the dumpster, but notice as well, okay? I noticed the extent. But I wanna show you, these are all baseball gloves, but look how much time they took. They literally slashed like each individual finger on the back of the gloves and some of them have slashes across the front. Now, say, maybe somebody that's played baseball, I've never really played, maybe played around a little bit, but on a team I've never played, I don't see how that's really gonna affect the use of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can still use it fine. It's already a cheap glove, but I'm thinking we should still donate these. If anyone's played baseball in the past and has any type of suggestion on maybe fixing them or making them a little bit better than this looking, a little bit better looking, I guess, or more effective, or if this is going to affect the quality of play, let me know. And by the way, let me know how you like this style of the camera. I'm thinking of putting it here so when we're going through the bags, you can actually see inside the bag as I'm going through it, like some of the older videos. I thought it made it a little more exciting, but you guys let me know. You're the ones that are watching it, so let me know in the comments. This one, they tore to freaking shreds. I mean, that's pretty much unusable. But it's just every time I find stuff like this, I just have to have the image in my head of grown adults sitting there slashing up baseball gloves, kids' gloves. Now, none of these are adult gloves. They're all kids' gloves. Sitting there slashing up baseball gloves for kids. Like, what kind of douche are you? It's five below. Like, no one's going to make $5 returns. Like, if you have a store like a Bed Bath & Beyond and you got a product that was 150 bucks, I still don't agree with it, but I understand you spray painting it or messing it up because that will really affect it. But when you're talking about an almost billion dollar company, it's five bucks. Just donate it, you douchebags. But all these gloves, every single one of them, there's probably 25 of them, all have slashes in them of some sort. I think some of them are still salvageable, but some of them like that, I mean, are pretty much garbage, unless somebody has a suggestion, because honestly, I don't think there's anything <laughs> we could do for them. Also, this. Yeah, how do I get the plastic off? If only I had a knife. Oh yeah. So, 
we have these knives from Bed Bath & Beyond. First time finding a weapon in the dumpster. So, I mean, obviously it's for kitchen knife, but it's still a weapon in the dumpster. I mean, is that is that too clickbaity? Is that clickbaity? Let me know in the comments. I don't think it's clickbaity. I mean, this could kill you. It's a weapon, right? <laughs> Let me try to get this plastic off and we'll take a look at all the knives. Get off without cutting myself. Look at my hand already. I already got this giant slash here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I got that giant slash. One on my finger right here. Dumpster diving is dangerous business, man. It's not for the weak of heart. <laughs> but look at that. That is a really, really nice knife set. And I think it looks like it's only... That's probably just for scissors. Like, yeah. usually the one whole top there is not meant for a knife. It's meant for a pair of scissors. So it looks like all the knives are there. When I first saw her find this, I was like convinced this was going to be like a display unit and it wasn't going to be at real knives. There's just going to be tips in there. But damn, that looks like some Michael Myers stuff right there. That looks like exactly what he like stabbed his sister with. But weapons in the dumpster. Don't call it clickbait because it's not. Okay, maybe a little bit. But it's weapons and it was found in the dumpster. Don't hate on me. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And don't forget, tomorrow we'll be going through the two big bags from 5 below. And from the looks of the outside of the bag, I can see one charger that is not cut. So hopefully none of it's destroyed this time. Fingers crossed, though, because it might be some destroyed. They might have pick and choose. You know how they are. Just pick and choose. Destroy this. Destroy this. Throw that away. They're just, they're just like that. I don't understand it. But again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave the video a big fat thumbs up. And subscribe if you're not already for awesome dumpster diving videos pretty much every single day. And don't forget somewhere in the video is a secret word. Put it down in the comments below to be entered in our monthly giveaways on the first every single month. We give away mystery boxes to our most active subscribers. Also, don't forget we now have dumpster diving t-shirts if you want to buy one. There, the link to that is down in the description below. All kinds of designs even the jeebus gaming design if you want one like that social media links p.o box all down in the description thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out